Dr. Seuss Beginner Book Video. Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. Said a book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Fresh, fresher, freshest. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish, and Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish, French fried. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, that's me the finest French fried, freshest fish that Finney fried. Din Shin. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front chin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with a thin blin shin bone pin, blin pins shin shin bones right back in. Bed spreader, bread spreader. Bed spreader spreads spreads on beds. Bread spreader spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading. Or that bread spreader sure going to butter his bedding. Eight cakes, grape cakes. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, The greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. And now let's talk about money. You should leave your grox home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your grox must be packed and locked up in a grox box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for groxes. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. Eat at Skipper Zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zips Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. The Fudnuddlers. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnuddler brothers, who like to pile each on the heads of the others. 
If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud, and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace and Hendrix and Hud, and then come Dinwoody and Dinty and Dud. Also, Fritz Simon and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud. And down at the bottom is poor little Lud. But if Lud ever sneezes, <coughs> his name will be Mud. Quack, quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack, quack, our black duck quickly quack quacks back. The quacks blue quacks make her quite a quacker. But black is a quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, oh say can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. West Beast, East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beast sits the West Beast. Each Beach Beast thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the east was best and the west worse. Then I looked again from the west to the east. And I like the beast on the east beach least. Pete Pat's Pigs. Pete Briggs Pat's Pigs. Briggs Pat's Pink pigs. Briggs Pat's big pigs. Don't ask me why, it doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs pink pigs, big pigs pig pen. Fritz Food, Fred Food. Fritz needs Fred, and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred, and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred Food. Fritz feeds Fred with Ritzy Fritz Food. And Fritz, when fed, as often said, I'm a Fred-fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz-fed Fred. How to tell a clot from a glot? Well, the glot, you will notice, has lots of black spots. The glot is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on a glot are about the same size as the dots on a clot. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the clot or the glot is. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap? Or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap? Or a fat flapjack flapper in a flat flapjack cap? Or, if you think you don't like cops caps, flapjack flappers, or cupcake cooks caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps, perhaps. More about Blinn. Well, when Blinn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blinn's day begins. Mr. Blinn is the father of musical twins who tucking twin instruments under twin chins. 
Lull the daddy to sleep with twin blend violins. And, oh say can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-string, tin Schwinn mandolin. Rope soap, hoop soap. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in Soapy Cooper Super Soup Off Hoop Soak Suds. Merry Christmas, Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas, Mush to Munch. But I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch, much, much. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give to your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim Swim Fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say, the storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, by Dr. Seuss. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin. And some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From there to here. From here to there. Funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, when a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet, and some have four. Some have six feet, and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come. We see them go. Some are fast. And some are slow. Some are high. And some are low. Not low. 
one of them is like another. Don't ask us why. Go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. Eleven? This is something new. I wish I had eleven, too. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So, if you like to go bump bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of gum. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike. It is made for three. Our mic sits up and back, you see. We like our mic, and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hill is high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse, Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear. But he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old, my teeth are gold, I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old, my teeth are gold. And now my story is all told. We took a look, we saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. On his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So, what good to a nook is a hook cookbook? The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans. And that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box, how I like to box. So every day, I box a gox. In yellow socks, 
I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high, and my ying sings low. And we are not too bad, you know. This one, I think, is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So, if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, hop, hop. I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop, hop. I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night. From right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Brush, 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 brush. Comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet. As wet as they let this wet pet get. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with ten cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it. We know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? I called you up to say hello. I said hello. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh, no. I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good, and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up on their head. Their hair grows fast, so fast, they say. They need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish, swish. Then I say, I wish for fish. And I get fish right on my dish. So, if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my ish wish dish. At our house, we play a back. We play a game called Ring the Gap. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only gack in town. Look what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home. We will call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. And now, good night. It is time to sleep. So, we will sleep with our pet, Seek. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. The Cat in the Hat Comes Back by Dr. Seuss.
This was no time for play. This was no time for fun. This was no time for games. There was work to be done. All that deep, deep, deep snow, all that snow had to go. When our mother went down to the town for the day, she said, Somebody has to clean all this away. Somebody. Somebody has to, you see. Then she picked out two somebodies, Sally and me. Well, there we were. We were working like that. And then who should come up but the cat in the hat? Uh-oh, Sally said. Don't you talk to that cat. That cat is a bad one, that cat in the hat. He plays lots of bad tricks. Don't you let him come near. You know what he did the last time he was here. Play tricks? Laughed the cat. Oh, my, my, no, no, no. I just want to go in to get out of the snow. Keep your mind on your work. You just stay there, you two. I will go in the house and find something to do. Then the cat went right in. He was up to no good. So I ran in after, as fast as I could. Do you know where I found him? You know where he was? He was eating a cake in the tub. Yes, he was. The hot water was on and the cold water too. And I said to the cat, what a bad thing to do. But I like to eat cake in a tub. Left the cat. You should try it sometime. Left the cat as he sat. And then I got mad. This was no time for fun. I said, cat, you get out. There is work to be done. I have no time for tricks. I must go back and dig. I can't have you in here eating cake like a pig. You get out of this house. We don't want you about. Then I shut off the water and let it run out. The water ran out, and then I saw the ring. A ring in the tub, and oh boy, what a thing. A big, long pink cat ring. It looked like pink ink. And I said, will this ever come off? I don't think. <laughs> Have no fear of that ring. Laughed the cat in the hat. Why, I can take cat rings off tubs just like that. Do you know how he did it? With Mother's white dress. Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. Then Sally looked in. Sally saw the dress, too. And Sally and I did not know what to do. We should work in the snow. But that dress, what a spot. It may never come off, Sally said. It may not. But the cat laughed. Ho, ho. I can make the spot go. The way I take spots off a dress is just so. <laughs> See here? Left the cat. It is not hard at all. The thing that takes spots off a dress is a wall. Then we saw the cat wipe the spot off the dress. Now the dress was all clean, but the wall, what a mess. Oh, wall spots. He laughed. Let me tell you some news. To take spots off a wall, all I need is two shoes. Whose shoes did he use? I looked and saw whose. And I said to the cat, this is very bad news. Now the spot is all over Dad's $10 shoes. But your dad will not know about that, said the cat. He will never find out, laughed the cat in the hat. His $10 shoes will have no spots at all. I will rub them right off on this rug in the hall. But now we have rug spots, I yelled. What a day! Rug spots? What next? Can you take them away? Don't ask me. He laughed. Why, you know that I can. Then he picked up the rug, and away the cat ran. I can clean up these rug spots before you count three. No spots are too hard for a hat cat like me. 
He ran into Dad's bedroom, and then the cat said, It is good that your dad has the right kind of bed. Then he shook the rug. Crack! Now the bed had the spot. And all I could say was, Now what, cat? Now what? But the cat just stood still. He just looked at the bed. This is not the right kind of a bed, the cat said. To take spots off this bed will be hard, said the cat. I can't do it alone, said the cat in the hat. It is good I have someone to help me, he said. Right here in my hat, on the top of my head. It is good that I have him here with me today. He helps me a lot. This is Little Cat A. And then Little Cat A took the hat off his head. It is good I have someone to help me, he said. This is Little Cat B, and I keep him about. And when I need help, then I let him come out. And then B said, I think we need Little Cat C. That spot is too much for the A cat and me. But now, have no fear. We will clean it away. The three of us. Little cats B, C, and A. Come on, take it away, yelled little cat A. I will hit that old spot with this broom. Do you see? It comes off the old bed. It goes on the TV. And then little cat B cleaned up the TV. He cleaned it with milk, put the spot in a pan, and then C blew it out of the house with a fan. But look where it went, I said. Look where it blew. You blew the mess out of the house, that is true. But now you made snow spots. You can't let them stay. Let us think about that now, said C, B, and A. With some help, we can do it said Little Cat C. Then pop on his head, we saw Little Cat D. Then pop, 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 Little Cat E, F, and G. We will clean up that snow if it takes us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away, said Little Cat G, F, E, D, D, B, A. They ran out of the house then, and we ran out too. And the big cat laughed. Ha <laughs> ha, now you will see something new. My cats are all clever. My cats are good shots. My cats have good guns. They will kill all those spots. But this did not look very clever to me. Kill snow spots with pop guns? That just could not be. All this does is make more spots. We yelled at the cat. Your cats are no good. Put them back in your hat. Take your little cats, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Put them back in your hat, and you take them away. Oh, no, said the cat. All they need is more help. Help is all that they need. So keep still and don't yelp. Then little cat G took the hat off his head. I have little cat H here to help us, he said. Little cat H, I-J-K-L-N-M. But our work is so hard, we must have more than them. We need little cat N, we need O, we need P. We need little cats Q, R, S, T, U, and V. Come on, kill those spots, kill the mess, yelled the cat. And they jumped at the snow with long rakes and red bats. They put it in pails and they made high pink hills. Pink snowmen, pink snowballs, and little pink pills. Oh, the things that they did, and they did them so hard. It was all one big spot now, all over the yard. But the big cat stood there, and he said, This is good. This is what they should do, and I knew that they would. With a little more help, all the work will be done. They need one more cat, and I know just the one. 
Look close. In my hand, I have little cat V. On his head are cats W, X, Y, and Z. Z is too small to see, so don't try. You cannot. But Z is the cat who will clean up that spot. Now here's the Z you can't see. Said the cat. And I bet you can't guess what he has in his hat. He has something called Boom. Boom is so hard to get, you never saw anything like it, I bet. Why, Boom cleans up anything, clean as can be. Then he yelled, Take your hat off now, little cat Z. Take the Boom off your head. Make it clean up the snow. Hurry, you little cat. One, two, three, go. Then the Boom, it went Boom. And oh boy, what a Boom. Now, don't ask me what Boom is. I never will know. But boy, let me tell you, it does clean up snow. Ha <laughs> so you see? Laughed the cat. Now your snow is all white. Now your work is all done. Now your house is all right. And you know where my little cats are? Said the cat. That boom blew my little cats back in my hat. And so, if you ever have spots now and then, I will be very happy to come here again with little cats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and O, P, and Q, R, S, T, and cat U, and cat V, and little cats W, X, Y, and Z. The Foot Book by Dr. Seuss. Left foot. Left foot. Right foot. Right. Feet in the morning. Feet at night. Left foot. Left foot. Left foot. Right. Wet foot. Dry foot. Low foot. High foot. Front feet. Back feet. Red feet. Black feet. Left foot. Right foot. Feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet. Slow feet. Quick feet. Trick feet. Sick feet. Up feet. Down feet. Here come clown feet. Small feet. Big feet. Here come pig feet. His feet. Her feet. Fuzzy fur feet. In the house. And on the street, how many, many feet you meet. Up in the air feet, over a chair feet, more and more feet, 24 feet. Here come more, and more, and more feet. Left foot. Right foot. Feet. 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 Oh, 
how many feet you meet. I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. Fish. I can read with my left eye. Another fish. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat and makes my eyebrows get red hot. So, reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees, and bees, and knees, and knees on trees, and bees on threes. You can read about anchors, and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, Stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You will learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake the Pillow Snake. and all about Fufu the Snoo. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice. Mice on ice. And ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale. 10 cents a pail. You can learn about Sad, and glad, and mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. you might learn a way to earn a few dollars. Or how to make donuts. Or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hot set if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. So, 
That's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open. At least on one side. Pop on Pop by Dr. Seuss. Up. Pop. Pop is up. Pop. Pop. Pop in cup. Pop. Cup. Pop on pop. Mouse. House. Mouse on house. House. Mouse. House on mouse. All. Tall. We all are tall. All. Small. We all are small. Ball. Ball. Wall. Up on a wall. Ball. Ball. Fall off the wall. Day. Play. We play all day. Night. Night. We fight all night. He. Me. He is after me. Him. Jim. Jim is after him.
What a day, Dad had. Thing? Thing? What is that thing? 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 That thing can sing. Strong. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown, upside down, pop up, brown down, pop is down, where is brown, where is brown, there is brown, Mr. Brown is out of town. Back, black. Brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. Snack. Snack. Eat a snack. Eat a snack with brown and black. Jump. Bump. He jumped. He bumped fast, fast. He went past fast. When, ten, then. He went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent. Constantinople and Timbuktu. Say, say. What does this say? Ask me tomorrow, but not today. There's a Locket in My Pocket by Dr. Seuss. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wacket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Or a wacket in your closet? Sometimes, I feel quite certain there's a jerky in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a lock behind the clock. And 
and that zelf up on that shelf. I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink and a vamp in the lamp and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But that yachtle in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the table on the table, and the gear under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nubbards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that new brush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that bug under the rug. And that Quimney up the chimney. I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zal scoops down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller, and the neller, and the geller, and the deller, and the beller, and the weller, and the zeller, and the seller, and the geeling on the ceiling. And the zower in my shower. And the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in. And I hope we never leave it. Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss. Fox, Socks, Box, Knox. Knox in Box, Fox in Socks. Knox on Fox in Socks in Box. Socks on Knox and Knox in Box. Fox in socks, on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then, I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. 
Clocks on Fox tick. Clocks on Knox talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Who socks? Sue's socks. Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue's socks. Who sees who sew whose new socks, sir? You see Sue sews Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks of fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. Sue sews rose on Slow Joe Crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows. Nose hose goes some, Crow's rose grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo. Gooey, gooey. Blue goo, new goo. Gluey, gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If, sir, you, sir, choose to chew, sir, with the goo goose, chew, sir, do, sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes. Ben comes. Bim brings Ben broom. Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends. Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band. Bim's band. Big bands. Pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Bim's band booms. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that, no sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks in lakes Duck likes. I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now come now, come now. 
You don't have to be so dumb now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Stop it! Stop it! That's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweetle Beetles. What do you know about Tweetle Beetles? Well, when Tweetle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweetle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweetle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweetle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweetle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle. And when beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call this a Tweetle Beetle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle Muddle. And when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle. And now wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. When a fox is in the bottle where the tweedle beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a tweedle beetle noodle poodle bottle paddle muddle duddle fuddle waddle fox in socks, sir. Fox in socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? By Dr. Seuss. The time has come. The time has come. The time is now. Just go, go, go. I don't care how. You can go by foot. You can go by cow. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? You can go on skates. You can go on skis. You can go in a hat. But please go, please. I don't care. You can go by bike. You can go on a Zyke bike if you like. If you like, you can go in an old blue shoe. Just go, go, go. Please do, do, do. Marvin K. Mooney, I don't care how. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? You can go on stilts. You can go by fish. You can go in a crunk car, if you wish. If you wish, you may go by lion's tail. Or stamp yourself and go by mail. Marvin K. Mooney, don't you know the time has come to go, go, go? Get on your way, please, Marvin K. You might like going in a zumble say. You can go by balloon, or broomstick, or you can go by camel, 
in a bureau drawer. You can go by Bumble Boat. Or Jet. I don't care how you go. Just get. Get yourself a gazoo. You can go with a boom. Marvin, 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 will you leave this room? Marvin K. Mooney, I don't care how. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? I said go, and go I meant. The time had come. So, Marvin went. Mr. Brown can move. Can you? By Dr. Seuss. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. He can go like a cow. He can go moo, moo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? He can go like a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. How about you? Can you go buzz, buzz? He can go like a cork. Pop, pop, pop. He can go like horse feet. Clop, clop, clop. He can go creak, creak, like a squeaky shoe. He can go like a rooster. Cock a doodle doo. He can go like an owl. He can go like the rain. Dibble, 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 dop. Dibble, 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 dop, dop, dop. He can go like a train. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Moo, moo, buzz, buzz. Pop, pop, pop. Eek, eek. Hoo, hoo. Clop, clop, clop. Dibble, dibble. Dop, dop. Cock a doodle doo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Mr. Brown can whisper, whisper. Very soft, very high like the soft, soft whisper of a butterfly. Maybe you can, too. I think you ought to try. He can go like a horn. Blurp, blurp. Like a big cat drinking. Slurp, slurp. He can go like a clock. He can tick. He can talk. He can go like a hand on a door. Knock, knock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Blurp, blurp. Slurp, slurp. And ooh, ooh, ooh. He can even sizzle, sizzle. He can do that too, like an egg in a frying pan. How about you? Mr. Brown is smart. 
as smart as they come. He can do a hippopotamus chewing gum. Grum, grum. Grum, grum. Grum, grum, grum. Mr. Brown is so smart, he can even do this. Beep. He can even make a noise like a goldfish kiss. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Brown is a wonder. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Brown makes thunder. He makes lightning. Splat, splat, splat. And it's very, very hard to make a noise like that. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Moo, moo. Buzz, buzz. Pop, pop, pop. Eek, eek. Hoo, hoo. Clop, clop, clop. Dibble, dibble. Da, da, cock a doodle doo. Grum, 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 grum. Choo, choo, choo. Boom, boom. Splat, splat. Tick, tick, tock. Sizzle, sizzle. Blur, blur. Knock, knock, knock. A slurp. Whisper and a fish kiss too. Beep. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Dr. Seuss's A B C. Big A. Little A. What begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator. A, A, A. Big B. Little B. What begins with B? Barber. Baby. Bubbles. And a bumblebee. Big C, little C, what begins with C? Camel, on the ceiling? C, C, C. Big D, little D, what begins with D? David Donald Do. Dreamed a dozen donuts and a duck dog too. A, B, C, D, E, E, E. Ear. A. Elephant. Big F, little F, 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 F. Four fluffy feathers on a fiffer feffer feff. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Goat. Girl, goo goo goggles, G, 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 big H, little H, what begins with H? Hungry horse, hey, hen in a hat. Big I, little I, 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 I. Ichabod is itchy. 
so am I. Big J, little J, what begins with J? Jerry Jordan's jelly jar and jam begin that way. Big K, little K, kitten, kangaroo, kick a kettle, kite, and the king's ka -choo. Big L, little L, little Lola Lop. Left leg, lazy lion, licks a lollipop. Big M, little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight music in the moonlight, mighty nice. Big N, little N, what begins with those? Nine new neckties and a nightshirt and a nose. O is very useful. You use it when you say Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. A B C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Painting pink pajamas. Policeman in a pail. Peter Pepper's puppy. And now Papa's in the pail. Big Q, little Q. What begins with Q? The quick queen of Quincy and her quacking quackaroo. Quack, quack. Big R, little R. Rosy Robin Ross. Rosie's going riding on her red rhinoceros. Big S, little S, silly Sammy Slick, sipped six sodas and got sick, sick, sick. T, T. begins with T. Ten tired turtles on a Tuttle Tuttle tree. Big U. Little U. What begins with U? Uncle Ub's umbrella. And his underwear, too. Big V. Little V. Vera Violet Vin is very, very, very awful on her violin. W, W, W. Willie Waterloo washes Warren Wiggins, who is washing Waldo Woo. X is very useful if your name is Nixie Knox. It also comes in handy. Spelling acts an extra fox. Big Y, little Y, a yawning yellow yak. Young Yolanda Jorgensen is yelling on his back. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and 
Z. Big Z. Little Z. What begins with Z? I do. I am a zizzer zazzer zuz, as you can plainly see. about Kitty O'Sullivan Krause in her big balloon swimming pool over her house. Think of black water. Think of a white sky. Think of a boat. Think of blues blowing by. You can think about night, a night in Nanak. The birds are asleep, and the three moons are up. You can think about day, a day in the day. The water is blue, and the birds are awake. Wonder, wonder and think. How much water can 55 elephants drink? You can wonder, how long is the tail of a dog? There are so many things that a thinker can think. Would you dare yank a tooth? of the rink rinker fink. And what would you do if you met a jaboo? Oh, the things you can think. Think of Peter the Postman, who crosses the ice once every day and on Saturday twice. Think a race, on a horse, on a ball, with a fish. Think of light, think of bright, think of stairs in the night. Think, think a ship, think of a long trip. Go visit the Vipper, the Vipper of Vip. And left, think of left, and think about Beth. Why is it that Beth always go to the left? 
And why is it so many things go to the right? You can think about that until Saturday night.